Tsunami have caused over 300,000 lives to be lost in the last 10 years and billions of dollars of economic damage. These very large waves are created when earthquakes happen under the sea floor and the fact that they conserve their energy as they come towards the shoreline mean that they cause this large amount of devastation. My interest in tsunami started after having gone to a mission to Sri Lanka and Thailand following the Boxing Day tsunami to look at the damage to buildings. On returning to England, I found out that there were very few models that could predict this damage to structures, and so I started asking questions. Why can't we look at the nearshore and onshore impacts of tsunami? For a tsunami, from the front, it tends to look like a wave, but if we look at it from the side, you can tend to think of it as a chunk of water moving inland to the beach and inundating the cities. What we wanted to do is understand some of the fundamentals about onshore flow and create a generalised concept of how to actually analyse structures affected by these very long waves. The aim of the work is to provide engineering guidance on how to build coastal defences and how to assess buildings for tsunami damage. This will give insights to local governments as to how to plan their coastlines and how to actually mitigate the effects of these devastating events. In real life, tsunami have a wave period of about 20 to 40 minutes. This means they're extremely difficult to reproduce in the lab, which is a much smaller scale. We've had to create, with HR Wallingford, a completely new way of generating waves that allows us to generate extremely long waves. The important thing on such a long wave is that the velocities are not huge, but they keep on coming. They build up against any sea defence, and if it then fails or overtops, the flow keeps on coming in for so long that it's likely to scour around buildings or erode the foundation. And then the flow reverses and all of that flow and all the debris with it goes back out to sea. This gives us the information we need to be able to predict tsunami impact on buildings and infrastructure. At UCL we strongly believe that this research will lead to new ways for designing defence structures and understanding tsunami impact on buildings, ultimately saving lives and reducing economic damage from large tsunami events.